Now, uh, our next guest has written his own introduction, and he's asked me to read it for you tonight, so here goes. Um, <clears throat> Men, are you lonely and lost in your love life? Are you friendless and alone? Pickup artist Leo Leonardo is here to help. With unique advice for navigating college romance, his new book, The Pride of Man, is a must-have for any college guy, and he's not bad-looking either. Let's welcome him, Leo Leonardo, everybody. That was quite the introduction, Leo. <laughs> tip of the iceberg, Elliot. Tip of the iceberg. A lot more with that stuff. <laughs> so, uh, how'd you come to, to write this book of yours? Well, Elliot, I, uh, I just got really tired. You know, I, I saw guys making the same mistakes over and over and over again. Uh, and I just, you know, uh, holding umbrellas for girls, uh, signing emails, best wishes. I just got sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, why are either of those, like, bad things? Uh, I think it's uh, obvious you need to read the book, Elliot. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, each of those actions I just described uh, signals weakness, signals a lack of self-respect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Elliot, come on. Duh. <laughs> okay, Elliot, uh, picture this for me. Picture a, uh, a lion, big, big male lion in the jungle, an alpha male, if you will. <laughs> Is he holding an umbrella for his lady lion? <laughs> no, exactly. Of course he doesn't. No, he keeps the umbrella for himself. <laughs> he protects himself from the rain, protects his luscious mane. And in doing so, he demonstrates his power over the pride. You see what I'm saying here? No! <laughs> uh, I I'm, I'm sorry, can you give us another example? I started daydreaming at luscious mane. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, let's go to my second example, the best wishes thing. Um, do you think uh, best wishes is an appropriate way for a man to sign an email to a woman? A uh, human man, <laughs> sure. <laughs> what do you think my follow-up question is going to be? Would a lion do it? <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think the answer is, Elliot? Probably not. I agree. I think probably no. I think an alpha male lion would sign his name without that weakening qualifier. <laughs> An alpha male lion doesn't wish for things, Elliot. And he certainly doesn't best wish for things. <laughs> no, he takes them. Okay, you see where I'm going? You, you guys see where I'm at here? Honestly, I think this is all pretty unpleasant. I mean, this, this kind of thought should have gone out of style a while ago. I mean, men don't need to be alpha or anything to be respected. Elliot, how would you approach an attractive girl? I, uh, go talk to her. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> How often would you say a lion talks, Elliot? <laughs> Never! Exactly! Oh, yeah, I elaborate! An alpha male lion in a bar doesn't go up and try to talk to an attractive girl. No, and a lion in a bar goes up, he initiates conversation, right? He initiates physical touch, and then he gets her digits, moves on to the next. Are we talking about actual lions here? I don't think you're understanding me. Yeah, I know I'm not understanding Wait, it, wait, should I get all of her digits? Look, wait, 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 fingers and toes? Example four, okay? I see a lot of guys helping girls with their homework, all right? Lions couldn't do that if they wanted, Elliot! They can't read! Look, uh, <laughs> just, you are all alpha males. You gotta take your masculinity back, okay? The world is at your paws. Just, rawr! Yeah! Okay, don't listen to him, please. You see that? I hear that commanding roar, Elliot. I think you're finally getting it. I had to go anyway. I'm gonna kill a gazelle and show it to some fetus. 